My wife, 45F, told a friend multiple times that I, 45M, am not handsome. Next step for me? I, 45M, have been married for 15 years to my wife, 45F, and I believe we love each other. We now have two kids. I saw by accident an old message. While organizing our home backup hard drive, sent by my wife to a friend saying that I am not handsome but I take good care of her. The other person replied that she told the same thing in the past and that she should stop since it is mean. I have mixed feelings since the message is really old. 10 plus years. But it hurts a lot since I find my wife very pretty and I assumed it was reciprocal. I have a hard time to sleep now and I keep asking myself if part of our marriage is fake and if there are more of those messages out there? What is the next step for me? Should I dismiss it and focus on the fact that we love each other or should I share my feelings with my wife? Sit down and discuss it with your wife. It could have been a throwaway remark with how she felt at the time. When in a long-term relationship people go through various levels of attraction with their spouse or other half. Right now she might think you are hot. She should not have shared that with a friend. Her friend seems like did the decent thing and shut her down. I think ignoring it will cause your marriage to implode because you are four act with insecurities. You need to discuss it calmly with her. Advice to ignore it both minimize your feelings and rob you of a chance to have a mature conversation that well might strengthen your bond of trust if she refuses to talk about it attacks you for being insecure or anything less than candid and compassionate discussion you have your answer too many people seem to be happy to not rock a boat but everyone has the right to feel needed and have love reciprocated perhaps it was momentary anger though it seems by the text it happened before too but you have every right to know what sort of relationship you are actually in. Too many people chose for bad reasons whilst claiming false ones which is totally disrespectful. It often matters far less they chose you than why they chose. Be warned though, the more you dig the more it may cause you problems in your current life. The messages were over a decade old. Your kids were probably either babies or not here yet. I wouldn't hold it against her. But, it bothers you. So, you two need to talk about it. People change over the years and I'm sure what she said over a decade ago. If she even remembers. It's been so long. Was not in the context you're thinking it's in. Talk to your wife. If it bugs you, you should talk about it. But I also wouldn't assume that it's something she holds important. Society says physical beauty is the most important thing a person can have. But in the actual, functioning world it is one of many changing traits a person can have. And many 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 people are wonderful humans with so much worth that has nothing to do with whether they'd land on the cover if a magazine or not. You will not be able to dismiss that. Ignoring it will not work. You will never not be thinking about what she said until you get it all out in the open with your wife. Rip the band-aid off. Emo. What do you want your wife to say? Is there anything she can say that will uh, make you feel better and be you will believe? You are surely better off accepting that this doesn't matter that much. So she has said this more than once? Geez. Being a somewhat neurodivergent sort, I'm going to play devil's advocate, as I've actually never seen my partners as conventionally attractive. I know I know, people think I lie about this. But the key here is conventionally attractive, like what you see in a superhero movie. And my partners don't ever follow a type, and every single one was completely different looking from each other. I've gotten partners angry with this as it becomes about ego rather than things that matter. I once tried explaining this to one person who took it as an insult. 
Sometimes I don't fully explain properly when communicating as I'm often kind of in my head and feel like it's just a normal thing. Consider that your wife might have a similar mindset or chemistries you're in my age group and our generation, especially women, didn't get any sort of diagnosis because, using myself as an example, ADHD was a taboo diagnosis in the 80s. People were against drugging their children. And best yet girls were assumed to just be daydreaming and flaky rather than neurodivergent not saying it's the actual issue here but to point out people are wired differently. For me, the attraction trigger comes at a certain point of getting to know someone and understand them as a person. The particular attraction point that baffles people about me is I'm most attracted to people that are so into something that they get really excited and just share the knowledge in a way that's not a condescending put down. Like, look at my shiny thing I love. Isnt it neat? Want to know the coolest thing about it and its entire history? That is the gaga point. No, my partners aren't what people expect to see on the cover of a magazine. No, my partners aren't obsessed with their gym time to get to a particular look. I find that tedious and dull. If they were to say however, oh I love hiking. There's an amazing trail that has these cool plants and animals and this really wild historical significance etc. I'm much more interested. I don't understand people with height requirements for partners. I don't understand people who insist on specific face shapes, hip to waist ratios, hair, etc etc etc. These are things that I find superfluous in every relationship. We all get old, gray, lumpy, droopy. What's your plan once your partner doesn't meet those standards and never will again? What then? Sorry hon. You just got ugly and I can't love you anymore. I just can't. Like, why marry someone you don't love from the inside out? As others pointed out, it's a 10 year old out of context message that you read for some reason while organizing. Honestly now. Were you deliberately looking for something to sabotage your 15-year marriage? 10 years is a long time. People definitely change in a decade and after having kids. Your ego is bruised. But interestingly you only describe your wife as pretty now in some girl circles that there would be an insult as pretty is often just passable or not completely ugly but definitely not beautiful. Just pointing out how words can be interpreted in a different way than you probably thought you intended. Bottom line you definitely aren't properly communicating with your partner or know what made her love you. Physical attraction does not make love. For a lot of people it's what gets them to talk to a person. For others, like myself, it's like a mutual interest or you see them wearing an interesting shirt or whatever. This feels more about how you feel about yourself than anything. Talk to her. Not a big mixed bag of potentially jaded internet strangers. If the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. I'd chill a bit bro this means she's with you for reasons other than your appearance. Doesn't that mean you're kinda a boss? Like regardless of how you look your swagger carried you to bagging your gorgeous wife? I wouldn't be too pressed about the physical attractiveness aspect man. Don't judge her for how she feels and just keep staying in your lane. That sucks, don't let your feelings fester. The next step is to talk to your wife and tell her how you feel. Yes you read something private. But you need to address this. Quote, wife, I need to talk to you. I read what you said about me to your friend. While I apologize for what I did, the message bothered me. Start there and possibly counseling. Sit down and talk to her. Also tell her how disrespectful it was if she just threw it in like a flippant comment. WTF You should not mention it. Why be that insecure about your looks? If you mention it, 
She will be bothered that you went through her phone. 10 years ago was a very long time ago. If you want answers to your looks, just ask other people so that you can get clarity. Maybe you can dress up one day and see if she compliments you. Best of luck. Don't sweat the small stuff. Do you think she doesn't love you if she doesn't think you're beautiful? If you talk to her about this, what is the best outcome you're hoping for? Why would you think your marriage is built on a lie if she doesn't think you're gorgeous? If I didn't find my partner attractive, I wouldn't be with him. And even if he was not conventionally attractive, I wouldn't say that he was not handsome or ugly to someone. Because to me he would be handsome regardless of his looks. And it's kind of disrespectful and unnecessary to point out that your partner is not handsome. If I saw that I would think that my wife didn't find me attractive at all and was with me for other reasons. Taking good care of her, for example. This shouldn't be the only reason for being with someone for me. Jesus. I read this wrong. I didn't see the, not. Thought there was actually a good one on here. Sorry dude. Communication is key. Don't keep this to yourself if you want this situation resolved. Curious to know your living arrangement? Do you provide solely or does she work also? She does have two kids with you so you can't be ugly. I would be extremely hurt. So sit her down and show her. See what she has to say. If she's cold and callous maybe firm to reevaluate the whole marriage. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.